I used to teach intro to acrylic painting, which was part of the beginning of my business where I got to explore just plain old art making and art therapy at the same time. But while I was teaching intro to acrylics, I would be talking about how to create volume in something. And I'm like, you can't have the light without the dark. Everything casts a shadow. People don't really like making the shadow. And as I was speaking, it felt like I was talking about something other than painting. It felt really deep and philosophical. <laughs> and this came up with me and you the other day, right? Yeah, we were talking. Oh, we were talking about how um, you're really good at bringing up the hard side of things I think <laughs> yeah. I was trying to keep it on like the light and like happy piece of something and then you took me down the down the rabbit hole of like the ugly side the shadow side and I made the comment that you're very good at that and how it's easy to say like oh well shouldn't we paint something like nice <laughs> shouldn't we avoid the shadow mm -hmm. the thing that we're really focusing on is the the universal truth that there is no light without shadow, that you can't have life and you can't have substance in life without both. Mm -hmm. So I told Sarah, you can do this in a painting, try to create a sphere and show volume without having any shadow. What is it like, Sarah, to try to create dimension with only lights? It was so hard and I just felt like I was in this cycle of light and then red and then light and then red. And it just was like so frustrating. I couldn't get any further. That seems like the key to me is I couldn't get any further. Yes, you can try to create a substance, like you can try to create substance in your life with just light, but it's not gonna get you very far. No. And I felt like it was never light enough because there was no dark. So no matter like some of the pieces as I undulated just to straight white, it just still didn't look right. Mm. So no matter how bright I made it, it just didn't look right without the contrast. It totally looks fake. It, it, has, totally some, looks fake. it has some dimension. It's more than just if it was like red, flat, red, but it's not, it's la you can tell it's lacking something. Yeah, we had said like, there's something wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> And I got to say, I've definitely had that feeling with people too. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way to truly live in, you know, happiness and positivity all the time. Yeah. So yeah. It, it becomes fake. Like it's one thing to be a positive person or, you know, want self-growth and, and all that is all great. And you need the shadow and you can't just stay there all the time because you don't even know where to put the light without the shadow. It really takes them both, the <laughs> contrast between them. This is, a, this is one of the things we teach in painting is if you want something to look real, put it on a, a ground. But now it just looks like two things that are fake. <laughs> <laughs> they still don't have a relationship to each other. It just, I don't know. They, <gasps> oh. like, so what yeah. you're saying is the shadow brings it into relationship with the other thing. Yes, I guess that is what I'm saying. Because <laughs> they're touching right now, but they don't feel related. No, they don't feel related. Ah. You're still doing light. Still trying. So, I just wanted to give it like as honest of a try as I could. <laughs> Maybe I can do this, Michelle. Can, if I work hard enough at the details, can I make it look real with just light? Yes. Can I be light enough? Can I give the light enough attention to make this apple real and beautiful and have depth without touching the shadow. And you, d I see so much time in there, you know, little lines and blending and the dots, like you've really devoted, <laughs> you've devoted yourself to the light, but does it compare to adding the shadow? It really makes it pop. It makes the lights look as light as they are. And it gives it that dimension and that shape the shadow makes the light as light as it is starting to feel like it's weighted the bottom of the apple that now has a little bit more shadow does feel like it's starting to sit it's starting to be grounded your shadow gives you weight and helps you be grounded mm. your shadow creates substance and volume to your life and and your existence mm-hmm 
dabble a little in the darkness, but I worked really hard on that light part and it made the skin look pretty. So I didn't really, I didn't really, you know, I didn't have confidence, I guess, in painting the shadow. And you were then, worried it was going to ruin it. If I bring this shadow in, is it going to ruin all the beautiful light that I created? Yeah, this shadow work is hard. I don't want to go yeah. in here. I don't like it. No, and like a dabble isn't quite enough. <laughs> you can yeah, tell. a dabble into the shadow isn't enough. <laughs> no, I mean, it helped a little, but there was more. It immediately apparent that it was not enough. <laughs> okay, I need the record to show that as the, yeah. as the guide of mystery school. A little bit of shadow is not enough. There needs to be more. You have to go all the way in. But, <laughs> <Get yourself. laughs> and I would just throw out there that you need a guide, right? Because I text you and said, the shadow is messing me up. And you said it still needs to be darker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before this picture, I really did think I had enough shadow. Yeah, so I, I was able to show her that the the dark of the real apple was really as dark as this bottom corner shadow that she'd created and there weren't any darks that dark in her apple so she was like hey i'm done with shadow i got my work done and i'm like there's more darkness still <laughs> yep and i needed it pointed out like show me where i don't i don't know where else to go with it and Seriously. you were able to point out this is exactly where it needs to be a little darker this is also what would blow my mind as an art teacher is we need help seeing. You stared at that apple and stared at it and stared at it and you couldn't see it anymore. Even though your whole point was to really observe shadow, mm -hmm. we always need somebody outside of us to help us see what's there. Mm -hmm. How much uh, is an object defined by light and how much is it defined by darkness? If you were gonna give them percentages, what percentage is light and what percentage is dark? There's so much more shadow in your picture than there is light. That's true. That also speaks to who we are as people. We are more defined by our shadow than by our light, but our shadow enunciates our light and makes it shine brighter. Well, and I also noticed just like in literally in the painting, when I added the dark, it gave me reference for where the light had to be. Mm -hmm. So when I was just throwing on the light and I didn't have the dark to compare it and to use um, like as a, as a marker, as a waypoint mm -hmm. for where it needed to go, I was, it felt like I was more guessing, but then as I painted the black in it and the shadow in it, I could see more where I needed to hone in on exactly where that light piece went. So I think it helps you in the, in the metaphor, it helps you understand where your light is and where your light goes if you do the shadow work.